Train the muscles, not the joints. Hey, how's it going guys? So today, let's talk about some stuff here and talk to you a little bit about this whole training thing and how, you know, using maximal poundages, uh, how you don't have to do it as often as people will lead you to believe. That's, that's really what I'm trying to say. Because what's happening right now, and I just finished talking to a guy in the gym yesterday, so I gotta hold you guys in place here. I just finished talking to a guy in the gym yesterday and he was talking about how he had a shoulder injury and he's been lifting quite heavy lately and he's been trying to you know, get his one rep max up and, and so forth. But the thing is, is that you don't have to lift heavy all the time in order to get your one rep max up. I, I keep on saying this, but it seems like it's, it's being uh, ignored by a lot of people. The, the truth is, is that you could do a lot of workouts where you're using suboptimal weight and then lift heavy as, as little as once every two to three weeks on a certain body part. And I mean, what I mean by heavy is eight to 12 reps, you know, and the other times you could be doing 12 to 15, 20 reps, 25, and then, you know, do your sub 10 rep sets, uh, you know, once every two to three weeks, you know, you could do like five rep sets or six rep sets, whatever it is that you feel is your optimal heavy weight. But the truth is, is that uh, a lot of people, they get too fixated on having to train heavy in order to have uh, optimal results. And, and the thing is, is that not only does your form change when you use heavy weight, positively or negatively, I mean, a lot of times it's for the negative. I'm going to say that. Uh, and, and that's rich coming from me, right? But, but what I'm going to say is that you'll notice that when you start using lighter poundages, and repping out and just hitting muscular exhaustion within a minute or two with whatever poundage you choose, right? So say, you know, something I do sometimes is light flies with just 50 pounders, 40, 50 pounders, right? I'm doing light flies. I'll do a set of 50 reps, 60 reps of that thing. Like it's easy. But what I found was that uh, the little twingy feelings I get in the shoulder and stuff, I, I don't get them anymore when I do that. Because when I do a heavy day, it seems like the lightweight rehabilitated the area in order for me to handle the heavyweight properly. And I think there's a very crucial combination of light and heavy that you need to investigate. And I think people are erring too much on the side of heavy. That's really my point. I think they're going heavy way more often than they need to. And because of this, they're getting a lot more injuries and a lot more tweaks. And, and I see it with everybody in the gym that's doing this. Everybody that goes heavy doing one rep sets, especially, you know, one rep maxes. Everybody that does the one rep sets, for sure, they, they get injured eventually. But when you're doing four or five rep maxes all the time, always lifting that heavy weight, there is no doubt that there is a different amount of stress on your system. And so because of this, uh, it's, it's not just your muscular system, it's also your joints. So people are always saying, Jason, why do you say train the muscles, not the joints? Uh, don't you need to train the joints too? Well, I keep saying this, the joints are already getting a beaten. They're already getting a beating. And, and my proof of this is that when people use heavy weight, their joints start to fall apart. Uh, if they do it too often, they start to get joint pain, all sorts of inflammation, bursitis and so forth. So if the joints weren't getting worked at all or weren't getting stressed, there wouldn't be joint injuries from those workouts. That's my point. So that's why I think it's really integral for you to decide about what type of weight you're using and, and, and understand that there's this massive benefit to moderate weights that can sometimes be better and greater than the super heavy days. So I'm all about using heavy weight. Don't get me wrong. I'm all about it. And you've seen me do it a lot on this channel, but I think that people underestimate the, the benefit of the higher rep ranges too. And when you combine these in the right way, uh, just interlacing heavy weight once every two or three weeks or, or whatever it is that you feel is the right amount for you, uh, then you're going to get an exponential benefit with way less stress on the wrong parts of your body. Uh, because you can stress certain parts to a point, but if you overstress them, what happens? An injury. And really my point is that that's one of the benefits of higher frequency training. If you feel that, oh, if I just do light, it feels like my muscles don't get 
uh, broken down enough and then you know uh, you know if I train my body part four days later it's, it's never enough it feels like I've lost everything well then that's why I like higher frequency training I could basically ease my body into the groove ease my body into the stress and it's like just moderate bits of stress moderate stress moderate stress and then when it feels right bang I can hit it with a lot of stress and then back off again and this consistent backing off on the intensities and increasing the intensity here and there and then backing off again I feel brings a much greater benefit and that's how I trained back in the day too there were lots of days that I would do lighter weight days because I was depending on the frequency of my training to be the primary stressor not just the weight and a lot of times guys on bro splits or you know they train the body part once a week or once every four days or whatever a lot of times they feel compelled to do everything in one workout and if they don't use heavy weight they feel like somehow they missed missed the boat right they, they missed something but I think that that mentality is the worst thing in the world because if you sit down and do nothing and then go to an all-out sprint we would we would realize and know that that would be a very high risk for injury that's just the truth right you're gonna have a higher risk of injury if you are going from nothing to doing something super intense well it's the same way with your workouts when you rest like massively for a long period of time a certain area and then you go balls out like 100% effort it only stands to reason that the body's not acclimated to that stress because it's rested for so long and then there is a very real chance or real risk of injury because the body has become lax in some way or maybe the groove is not perfected or you know maybe your balance isn't right you know all these things so one thing I try to concentrate on is blood flow first and foremost and easing the muscles into coaxing them into results coaxing them into adaptation instead of trying to cut them into pieces and then from there uh, you know uh, try to try to pick myself up and put it, put myself back together again after right so yeah that's that's really what I have to say about this you know is it's just don't underestimate the value of higher rep ranges and don't underestimate the value of trying to you know use heavy weights but not so much so that it's the primary way that you are stimulating muscular growth because it's not the only way it's only one small way to do this and it's it's actually counterproductive at some point if you do it too much so you want to find that right combination and and again I'm gonna just say this again the deadlift and the squat the one rep max is in deadlift and squats and, and five reps and below all the time doing heavyweight that is going to cause you more issues then then you know I mean you see everybody when they're successful at it but if you're one of the unlucky ones uh, you're not gonna have any more muscular growth by using heavier weight funny enough you're gonna have a lot of issues if you're using heavier weight all the time you're gonna have more joint issues than anything and then you're not gonna be able to train so what's the point right so yeah if you look at guys with a lot of big legs they don't always use super heavy weight sometimes they're using a lot of reps and then they use heavy weight here and there so find that sweet spot you know be open to uh, doing the easier workouts and then moving into the heavier workouts but you don't have to go heavy as often as you think that's really my point I hope this helps you out in your training thanks a lot for watching guys if you need to get hold of me just go to naturalgalantbodybuilding.com and thanks to the page supporters and take care for now